the head of North Korea is dead. Oh wait, wait, wait. We are not talking about Kim Jong Un's death rumors. North Korea is a necrocracy, which means the country is ruled by a dead ruler, Kim Tu Sang. He was declared as the eternal leader of North Korea. Kim Jong Un is the supreme leader without any presidential status. Sounds weird. That is one word that defines the country way too well. Also, those who are curious about North Korea, the East Asian country, we have done the digging up for you. And the conclusion is, North Korea is indeed a strange country with astonishingly weird rules. Who want to know more about them? This video does just that. In this video, we will reveal some unbelievably weird facts about North Korea. The North Korean regime has left no stone unturned to prove itself the sole administrator of the country. The country has preserved the dead body of North Korea's late leader Kim Jong Tu in a glass tomb, and it's open for tourists to view. And they are required to bow down at his feet and arms. Yes, you heard it right. They've preserved the dead body of Kim Jong Tu. And if you think this is unsettling, then buckle up because there's more. Number one, the North Korean calendar is based on its founder's date of birth. It may be the 21st century for rest of the world, but for people in North Korea, it's still the 106th Jewish year. The North Korean Jewish calendar begins from April 15, 1912, the date of birth of its founder, Kim Tu Sang. Number two, the country has only three TV channels. Boring, I know, right? But with everything under scrutiny, it's quite obvious that the North Korean regime keeps its media on a tight leash. There are only three channels to choose from, with all programs controlled by the government. Elections with only one candidate to choose from. With the country's totalitarian regime and the same family ruling since 1948, it's rather funny that elections are held every year. The voters have only one option to choose from, whether it's the election for a mayor, provincial governors, or local assemblies. There is only one candidate on the ballot in each district. So people wait in long lines to wait for who? Kim Jong Un. And you thought daily soaps are so baseless. Number four, parents have to provide desks and chairs for their kids. Parents who send their kids to school are required to provide their own desks and chairs. Some students are also forced to do laborious tasks for the government, such as collecting discarded material. Number five, there is a three-generation punishment rule. The three-generation punishment rule is a horrifying reality of the country, which can't stand any criticism from its citizens. If one person commits a crime, his entire bloodline, including the grandparents, parents, and children, are sent to prison. Can you imagine going to jail because your father used hot water to take a bath? Oh, by the way, taking hot water baths in your own home is an offense in North Korea. What? What the? Number six. If you are creative, you have a high chance of getting kidnapped. Dictator Kim Jong Un kidnapped a film director Shin Sang Ok and his wife, actor Choi Eun Hee, in 1978 to inject creativity in North Korean films. Later, in 1986, after being held against their will for almost a decade, the couple gradually earned the dictator's trust and escaped during a trip to Austria, where they were promoting North Korean films. Number seven, a propaganda village. Like so many other propaganda activities, there also exists a propaganda village on the border of North and South Korea. In 1953, the Korean demilitarized zone was established to end war and serve as a buffer zone between the two countries. On this border lies Gyeongdong, the village which boasts of the economic success of North Korea. It is believed to be a fake show of development, built to attract South Korean defectors and intimidate South Korea. 
As a response to the constant loudspeaker boasting, South Korea installed loudspeakers playing K-pop songs towards North Korea. That sounds more like a favor to the country, but anyways, who knows it might be a torture for the military men trying to groove on the beats. <laughs> Moving on. Number 8. North Koreans can visit only 28 websites. They are only allowed to browse 28 websites on the internet and that too with written permission from the government. Number 9. Blue jeans are banned in the country. North Korea sees blue jeans as a symbol of US imperialism and hence has banned it in the country. Questionable fashion choices. Hmm. On that note, we get to point number 10. There are only 28 hairstyles for men. Korean men can choose from a list of 28 hairstyles. Any hairdo apart from the government approved hairstyles can lead to an arrest. while unmarried women must keep their hair short and married women have a lot more options to explore number 11 no religious freedom like restrictions on every other aspect of life there's no religious freedom in north korea the country calls itself an atheist state and persecutes anyone who is seen practicing any religion number 12 human waste as fertilizer In 2008 when South Korea stopped sending fertilizers to North Korea the country faced an acute shortage of fertilizers so like everything else a new law was made and citizens were asked to collect their poop and hand it over to the authorities to help the country's agriculture okay that one is too weird to process next up number 30 condoms are inexistent for North Koreans Half of the North Koreans don't know that condoms exist. Also women use cloth during their menstrual cycle as they do not have access to sanitary napkins. Number 14. No ban on pot. It is ironic that the country which ignores basic rights of its citizens has freely available weed or cannabis which can be brought from the roadside. I mean with all these restrictions a good escape seems much needed. But guys, not the best reason to relocate to North Korea. So, hold your horses there. Number 15. Public execution and human rights violation. This one just does not surprise me enough. Among so many human rights violations and brutalities, North Korea also commits the crime of publicly executing its citizens. Who doesn't remember the 2015 case when the defense chief Hyun Yong Chol was killed in front of hundreds of people with an anti-aircraft gun? It is believed that the North Korean defense minister was executed for falling asleep during one of his meetings with Kim Jong Un. Number 16. Ban on music. Kim Jong Un's regime is always on a lookout for anything that may threaten its position. In 2015, Kim Jong Un issued a decree to scrap all cassette tapes and CDs which had state banned songs because lyrics could propel dissent among citizens. Banning art. Nothing new here, I guess. North Korea is no short of dystopia, except for the fact that it really exists. In the 21st century where majority of the countries have moved to democracy, North Korea is still reeling around family rule in the country. Ever since its inception in 1948 after the Soviet and the US divided the control of Korean peninsula, North Korea has been under the control of Kim family. Till his death in 1994, the country was ruled by Kim Tu Sung. After his demise his son Kim Jong Un took the reign of the country and the rule later passed on to its present leader Kim Jong Un. 9 years later the rumors of Kim Jong Un's deteriorating health have been doing rounds on the internet. Amidst this the country's economy is in a ramshackle state with a majority of its population desperate for food. But that doesn't deter North Korea from spending about 20% of its GDP on its military. With the supposed uncertainty looming over the political future of North Korea, all the eyes are set upon Kim Jong Un's younger sister, Kim Yo Jong. Now that we have come to the end of this video, which fact according to you was the most weird one? Let us know in the comment section.
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our video and share them with fellow enthusiasts. And until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome. Volt of Vogue signing off.